got right to it as far as our our normal meeting schedule and our quarterback reads and the things we talk about every every single day one and had to uh, had to give them a couple refreshers in terms of what we do warm up wise and and things like that and, and some of our practice procedures but outside of that um, feels like 2022 all over again any rush to what you doing in practice rush like, did, did you see any rust in the oh rust sorry i thought you said a rush um, very little i mean he's obviously a, the biggest critic of himself so he come off after every single play saying i was slow here i was slow there i was fast here i was fast there so i mean he's going to have some some issues mentally and physically with himself, but um, from from my perspective, it was it was pretty clean. After two years, a year and a half, of no Canadian football. Did you sense him trying to work the sidelines and work the size of the field? Yeah, I mean, he's got. I had to remind him a couple times in terms of sending the motion and, and stuff like that. We were a little quick with motion and guys getting caught in the backfield and stuff like that. Obviously, getting back used to the waggles and the timing of everything um, going around. But no, I mean, he's he's comfortable with, with all the throws on the field and, and stretching it horizontally and vertically. So definitely saw a lot of that, yeah. How does the playbook change from uh, VA and Jake to, uh, to me? No, not at all. I mean, we'll, we'll run our normal stuff. Um, like I said earlier, he's he needs refresher on on a couple terms and a few things that, that have changed in the last 18 months or whatever it's been. Um, but but outside of that, everything everything's available to us. So I've got to put a percentage on new verbiage, new plays, new schemes. What probably 10%? He probably knows 90% of the offense right now. I'd say that's accurate. Yeah, I mean he's uh, we've we've tweaked more than we've changed um, since since he's been since he's been here. So um, we we don't have a master list or anything of all the changes, but just as we kind of arrive on them um, as we go through the, the game plan and stuff like that, it's like, oh yeah, we, we call this that now, or, or this is new, this came in after you were here kind of thing. So those have come up, but but yeah, very small percentage. I think he's gotten really comfortable with the offense over the three years he's had. The one thing with Nathan that I would say that was his processing speed and his ability to get to like four and five. Yeah. Right? Is that something you can take advantage of? Yeah, I mean, I think that's always, it's, Nate, Nate's a quick blinker. I've, I've heard that term to, to describe other quarterbacks, and and that's what what he is. He he processes things uh, very very quick. He's he's one step ahead of the defense. He understands our offense and how the concepts are going to match up against the defense. So he can process. He can make a decision, and then he can get the ball out of his hand hand quickly. So yeah, it's a it's a huge advantage for us offensively. Do you stay with that? Is it important, or you know, now that you've got Nathan, you just got to play a I mean, we want to do whatever we think is going to win us a game. Um, but I, I think a huge credit goes to Will and the big guys up front for for allowing us to establish that run a um, uh, last week. Um, it's really comfortable to to be able to to hand the ball off to him and and get yourselves into second and manageable, second and short. Um, second and four or five even give the ball to him and, and get a first down that way. So um, I'm really comfortable with the run game, really comfortable where, where Will and the O-line are at. Um, so I still expect that to be a major part of, of what we do. Thanks, sir.